This is the closest to nature I've ever been. I need my AC. Hello, hey friends. guys. Today is day six mm -hmm. of our cruise journey. We are currently back in Mexico. We're in Puerto Maya. Maya. <laughs> it's not Costa right. Rica. Huh? We're in Mexico. <laughs> oh my god, the days are confusing. Anyway, we're gonna go check out some ruins. <laughs> They're gonna be Mayan ruins. It's gonna be like a four hour excursion. It's gonna take like an hour to get to the ruins. We're gonna spend a couple hours there and then an hour back. The ruins is called Chacobin. <laughs> Something like that. Or Ch Chac... Chachoban ruins. We don't know how to pronounce it. So that, that's, that's the that, name that's of the city. Guess, yeah. So basically, I don't like that. We're gonna have to pay a fee to, record. to use our home recording devices. Yeah, it's so. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So. We just made it to the Chacho Bin site. <laughs> Gotta pay four dollars for videos. I yep, pay four dollars and uh, you gotta show them that purple ticket, otherwise they'd be like, win your ticket for the video. This one. Yes. How do you feel? This really? is the closest to nature I've ever been. Why are you making fun of me? Wow, we're here. The Chachup in ruins. That's <gasps> exotic. So what do you think, huh? I wish we can climb up, but I know we can't. I think we can in a later one. In a later one. Yeah. And this is our natural boundary with Belize, which is the Honda River. And this is where Central America begins. Right behind you, that is the sacred tree of the Maya <laughs> Seba. We're going to enter the room. Dun, dun, dun. How do you feel? Okay, it's good. Can we actually enter? It doesn't look like yeah. there's a room. So we're going to enter the residential houses right now. Most of them are gone because they were built out of wood and palm trees and stuff, so they decomposed. These are just the foundations where some of the Mayans were buried because they believe in living with their ancestors even after they pass away. Fire ants. Every single thing is a stone that they picked up. Really? Yeah, you see them. They're picking stones from inside their nest because they're expanding it and just dropping it off. Wow. Can you believe it that the average Mayan died at 25. 25? Elongate their skulls while they're babies. That's why they look like aliens. Yeah, and do like a cone shape, huh? Yeah, because in their religion, corn is like sacred and they want to look like the corn. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the highest top of the temple, temple where it's the sacrificial area. Tired already? <sighs> How would you like to live during this time? Mm, no, thank you. Are you sure? Why not? I need my AC. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the top. Yeah, you can see that they're excavating right now because there's a lot of the mounds that are still not completely excavated. All right, shopping time. Shopping. Here's the souvenir shop. Anything interesting? I mean, there's interesting stuff, but is it worth it? No. Hasta la vista. Muchísimas gracias. But look at the stunning view. Wow. The water is so blue. Hey guys. Hi. So, what do you think of the excursion? We're back. 
from Chachopin, yeah. which is in Costa Puerta Maya. Maya. <laughs> okay, so basically, yeah, it took us an hour to drive from one side of the peninsula to the other side, which mm -hmm. was where Chachopin and the ruins were. I like that we joined the exclusive tour group because there were only 10 people in our mm -hmm. car versus the bus, and it was probably what? 20, 30, 20, 30 people. people. So I like that it was a lot more intimate, and the tour guide could tell us more, give us more personal attention and information. And they gave us drinks too, like mm -hmm. uh, waters and uh, cervezas mm -hmm. and uh, sodas. Yeah, the experience itself was pretty cool. I learned a lot about the Mayan culture. Just very different than us. Mm -hmm. We're very fortunate living in this time. I mean, if Mayans only lived to like 25 on average, that must be a pretty brutal life. Not to mention all the human sacrificing that would go take place. But, you know. but anyways, it was really nice taking those pictures of the ruins. It's hot and humid, kind of as expected. It was a little windy when we were going there, but when we were at the site, it wasn't too bad. I like that there were actually a lot of shady paths mm -hmm. because the trees helped block a lot of the, the sun, sun, which helped a lot. We saw a lot of ants and insects. Not a lot of mosquitoes, which is good. I mean, maybe there were, but I didn't see any flying around. I thought in the jungle you'd have a lot more mosquitoes, but no, it's fine. Yeah. How would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10 or compared to sure, the, compared other to the other ones? Well, I definitely like this one better than the, the Roton, Roton one. Why? Tour guide was better. Mm -hmm. She didn't just talk and talk. She just talked a little bit and then let us just explore and do stuff ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it was shorter though, you know? It was shorter, yeah. but it was fun. Mm -hmm. Compared to the first day, which was the Cozumel stuff with mm -hmm. the bee sanctuary, the cacao factory. I mean, obviously you like the swimming pigs the most, right? Yeah, <laughs> I like the swimming pigs. So probably I still like that one. Yeah, but uh, compared to yeah, Cosimo? Yeah. Compared to Cosimo, I think I like Cosimo better. I think really? okay. we had more things to look things at. Things to look to at. Learn, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would agree with that. Good morning everyone. Today is day 7 of our cruise tour. Today is the last full day here. We're basically gonna be cruising the whole day. So because of that, we are not going on any shore excursions, but we did book an excursion on ship, which is basically an all-access ship tour, which means they're gonna show us around the ship, just teach us about the ship. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record but I will try my best to do as much as I can. Let's go! On the last day of the cruise, we went behind the scenes of the second largest cruise ship in the world, the Wonder of the Seas. This was no ordinary cruise tour. It was an all-access pass to the heart of this floating city. Our first stop was the kitchen. I was absolutely fascinated to see how our meals were prepared. The precision, the organization, the sheer scale of it all was mind-boggling. From the sizzling grills to the bustling chefs, it was a symphony of culinary artistry. Next, we visited the control rooms. It was like stepping into a sci-fi movie. Screens everywhere, monitoring everything you can imagine. They even know when you're flushing your toilet in your room. Talk about attention to detail. We then moved to the food storage area. It's amazing how they keep the food frozen for the entire trip. Rows upon rows of freezers, each carefully cataloged and organized. It's a testament to the planning and logistics that go into running a ship of this magnitude. The waste disposal system was another marvel. The efficiency and eco-friendly methods used to manage waste on such a large scale were truly impressive. Our tour also included a visit to the housekeeping department. Seeing how our linens were taken care of, the process was a well-oiled machine. It gave me a newfound appreciation for the crisp sheets and fluffy towels we enjoyed every day. Finally, we got a sneak peek into the rehearsals where performers practice before the cruise shows. The dedication and hard work that goes into each performance were palpable. This all-access tour was an eye-opening experience. It gave me a deeper understanding and appreciation of what goes on behind the scenes to ensure we have the perfect cruise experience. Just got back from the all-access uh, cruise ship tour. What'd you think? <laughs> 
I don't like it. Why not? It was supposed to only be like two hours, 30 minutes dragged on to three hours because a lot of the times we were waiting for the previous group to be finished and the delay of just waiting and standing so yeah we were literally standing for the whole three hours we couldn't really take a seat and rest mm -hmm. i think because my legs were already sore from yesterday when we were kind of climbing the ruins mm -hmm. i know it went a little long but uh what was your favorite part the food so like the kitchen the beginning part mm -hmm. okay because Wow, you can really see the staff puts a lot of time and effort and into effort to yeah. preparing the yeah, meals. They were already preparing dinner for tonight. And then, yeah, when we went to the laundry mm -hmm. department, you saw just four men trying to straighten the sheet to let it dry and like a bed sheet bed sheet mm -hmm. and yep that's their, their job. job straighten the bed sheet feed it into the machine and then the machine like automatically like irons it and then folds it for them mm -hmm. i mean most of the staff were from third world countries like indonesia india philippines mm -hmm. they told you not mm -hmm. to take any video like photography was okay but uh we were able to get some when uh we were just stopped you know because they told you not to take any video like main reason to not do it is for like safety reasons it's not like a top secret or anything like that and then like they have this place called i-95 which is like the main uh, artery underneath the ship where all the staff is like going really fast in and out so like they don't want you to be distracted with your phone or whatever well that's basically the end of our cruise yeah. um how does this compare to the other cruises you've been on you've been on two ensenada cruises mm -hmm. one with royal caribbean and the other one with carnival, carnival. right yeah i like royal caribbean a lot better I actually like this cruise better than the Ensenadas because the destinations were more fun and interesting. I mean, the Ensenada one's only like a three-day trip. This mm -hmm. one's a full week. But also, for some reason, I don't know if it's the location of our rooms, but the swings rocking, not too bad. The, yeah, the yeah. swings, it's not too bad. I remember the, when I first went, I, I felt seasick, nauseous a little bit. But this time, I still feel, but it's not as bad. So we're on a, like an indoor balcony. I don't really like it. It, it's hard to enjoy yourself in the room. You know, sometimes you just want to chill, you know, whatever. Literally people outside can see directly in your room if you don't have your blinds, like, closed or your shades closed. I don't know, like at night. It's in, loud yeah, because we're, there's performances. Yeah, there's performances and stuff. And some of the performances go after midnight. I definitely like the balcony view facing the ocean. Mm -hmm better but i see it. on the other cruises i've been on i just enjoy sitting out like and looking at the ocean it's more boring i guess but at least you have privacy right but overall i would say i like the food a lot better than carnival than right? carnival's yeah. food excursions well, were better there's more uh, options right right the swimming pigs was really cool the I coco k was cool rotan right like seeing different culture there oh so actually at the end of the all access tour they gave each of us a little gift let's see Oh. That's teaching you how an informal setting for uh, dinner is. Here's a formal setting for dinner. And oh. then use this rope to uh, tie different types of knots. Oh. oh so oh, it's oh. like a educational type oh, thing. Oh, okay. That's cool. Anything else you want to talk about? I don't like the kids running around but... screaming at night. You know, it's not Royal Caribbean's fault, but you do hear it. Yeah, the clientele definitely seems more family oriented here. I mean, I just complained about kids running across the hall, but like when you go to dinner, you don't really have a whole bunch kids screaming and you know making lots of noise like i feel like in ensenadas it was just noisier or something i don't know there's something was different party yeah people. about the clientele mm -hmm. is a little different oh the television not a lot of options there's some like uh royal caribbean tv and then like a couple channels and then that's about it wi-fi is the usual mm. you gotta pay for each device very unstable yeah last day one down
What's his wisdom? His wisdom is it is better to be silent and thought a fool than open your mouth and remove it. This was the Rising Tide Bar where this platform slowly goes up and then people can sit inside and just enjoy the drink and the view of the inside of the ship. Wow, so colorful. That's my new coffee mug. <laughs> it's so adorable. I found this really cute one. And yeah, this was 23 bucks. So excited to try it. It's super cool because see how the lid, you can open and close it so it doesn't just keep it open. So originally the lid wasn't part of the cup. It was the lid on a different one. But then we asked the store associate if we could switch it because I like this type of lid better. And then he was like, oh, you know, pretend I didn't see anything. Yeah, switched the lid and got it. I'm so excited to try it. All right, well, thanks for joining us on this cruise adventure. We're gonna head back to Port Canaveral tomorrow and then we're going to Disney World. Disney World. All right, see you guys there. Yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. -bye.